good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's been an inspiring day of hearing a lot of solutions and suggestions for solutions. I think we will come with a lot more questions in our hands and in our minds, and maybe hoping to engage you in the end of the presentation to find some answers. I guess I already introduced myself. I'm an IoT director from Forum Video in Helsinki, and uh, my team is focused on getting relevant data out there for the whole ecosystem to utilize. And We've been working a lot with open data, now we're switching more to IoT and all kinds of sensor data that is being collected. And Alp, I don't think you I'm introduced a, uh, yourself yet. So. Yes, I'm a technology specialist in the Forum Virium Helsinki and Hanna is my boss. <laughs> okay. And we were supposed to have our other IoT developer here, so I was not supposed to be even talking, but let's see how this goes. So like I mentioned, uh, we've been working a lot with open data, so the, especially city-related data, because we are a city-owned development agency. And of course, with open data, we work basically with the data that is there, out there, already collected in the systems that happened to be bought maybe 10 years ago, and trying to get that those uh, systems and the data out there for the community to use. Of course, we've been then uh, moving forward, uh, trying to open up more and more APIs to city systems, even harmonizing the data so that we get a more scalable or a bigger market for the solutions. And thanks to that, there are new services and, and apps uh, being created by the community. And of course, why we are here with the my data point of view, with the, the apps and services and the people using them, we get more and more data generated also by the users. And, and, and then taking part in the data creation as well, not just being the end users and consumers of that data. And that's, I mean, that's the topic we have at hand at my data. Uh, quite soon after getting started with open data, the city of Helsinki also started kind of taking in some data. One of the first initiatives was this issue reporting, getting citizen feedback uh, from the citizens and letting them, give, providing them a channel to kind of tell what's, what's wrong in their city, what, where are the potholes and so forth. And quite soon it was seen by the city, also our deputy mayor, former deputy mayor, that they really need all of us out there to kind of explore and see what's happening in the city. So the city cannot uh, know all the things that the citizens and the people around them know. Yes, and you all know that cities, uh, of officials collect a lot of data of, of city. For example, traffic, air quality, uh, noise, uh, pollution weather, environment, and so on. And they have been doing this very long time. But in the last years, technology has evolved. There is a little box uh, going through the audience. There is a very cheap and maybe not so accurate uh, air quality sensor inside. You can check it. There is Raspberry Pi and uh, Arduino and a couple of sensors. Uh, this means that citizens can collect uh, data for their own needs. Should I go to the next? next one? Of course, this cheap air quality sensor is not so not so good as uh, expensive one. But if there are hundreds of hundreds of uh, sensors in the city, uh, and you combine the data from these cheap sensors with official data, you will get much better uh, coverage of this data of the city. And this uh, data collected by citizens can be anything. Maybe citizens are uh, commuting by bicycle uh, to work and they share the best routes with uh, their uh, colleagues and uh, friends. Or maybe someone, someone has a cheap weather station in, in her balcony and she shares the data with, with, him, with her neighbors. What could be, could be useful data for the city? And if citizen and, and city can apply the rules, uh, how that data can be used. We have some initial uh, thoughts about user interface. Uh, it's not visible, but uh, the problem is that uh, I probably have thousands of um, bicycle tracks from my home to work. But I don't want to share everything. I don't want. I, I want to leave out the, the GPS tracks nearby my home and nearby my nearby my uh, working place. But everything between would be useful for for the city. So 
uh, we have some questions maybe to discuss with the audience. I know some of these thematics, it's not really any different from any commercial actor uh, getting the consent for using uh, the data, but I think we still believe that kind of this donating data for common good and also the city being able to ask people, ask people who are using Sports Tracker or Endomondo or anything to, to kind of donate or at least share or give access to the data at hand. So we were asked to list some of these requirements. Maybe I go through the requirements one by one and then we can maybe shortly discuss it or suggestions can be uh, provided to us. So uh, we really believe that such platform or ecosystem should also support not just the donation of data, but it should also uh, support making calls for data. So if city would like to ask all the people who have some data about their uh, sports activities, it should be possible to make such a uh, call for data. So not just broadcast the available data sources, but also uh, broadcast your need for certain type of data. Uh, then uh, the platform should, of course, enable dynamic content that has become very clear, and it's uh, the whole idea. Of course, meet the GDPR requirements. Uh, but what Alpo just explained is that in many cases, if, if I would be donating the data to the city, maybe I don't. I want to leave out certain uh, spatial uh, boundary or data that is concerning my home or my workplace or uh, other uh, two that I would feel are too too close to or too private for me. Or that if I would have a, the private weather station in my. Uh, balcony that I would not want to have like so accurate time series of it because then people could see like if it's real time that am I going, am I at home, maybe am I visiting the balcony and is there some changes in the temperature or something like that. So I would like to share only a, a not so accurate time series. And uh, yeah, sorry, then I skipped over into the end. So limiting access to the database for spatial boundaries and temporal resolution. And then the other aspect that has been discussed here, uh, I think earlier also in the earlier presentation, is in general the storing of the data and, and then like the right to be forgotten. So where would such, if, if I now donate and decide it's for me okay to uh, share the, my biking routes with the city, but then I decide in two months that I don't want to do it anymore, but somebody would already made some statistics based on it, how do this, all these paths like technically go? Is that data then removed from that? kind of a statistic uh, set or, or the kind of data product that somebody has made from it or how, how do these things go?